Hello and welcome to today's daily news report where I cover all the biggest stories affecting your life and money. You watch this channel each day because I keep you in the loop on what's really going on in Washington, D.C. with President Biden and the U.S. economy. I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, Audible, and I'll tell you about an amazing free gift from them later in this video. President Biden has been very busy lately, uh, and today uh, he has announced another $3 billion in taxpayer money uh, being delegated and sent to Ukraine in the form of cash and also U.S. weaponry. I'm also reading that the weapons manufacturers can't produce weapons fast enough, so they're going to be taking money out of the, or excuse me, weapons out of the U.S. military in order to send to Ukraine, and then over time, we'll replace that weaponry here in our own military. Biden had this to say, today is not only a celebration of the past, but a resounding affirmation that Ukraine proudly remains and will remain a sovereign and independent nation. The United States of America is committed to supporting the people of Ukraine as they continue to fight to defend their sovereignty. Meanwhile, at the United Nations, Russia has officially accused Ukraine of attacking their own nuclear power plant. Russian troops pulled out of the area last week and France was alerted via a private chat with President Macron and Vladimir Putin that uh, this needed to be investigated. Now, Russia has gone before the United Nations to get them involved and launch an emergency investigation. They say if this nuclear power plant were to be damaged, it could wreak havoc on all of Europe and throw off the entire global food chain. So hopefully the United Nations goes in and investigates what's really going on, and I'll continue to update you on that. Quadruple vaccinated First Lady Jill Biden, who has also been on Pfizer's miracle pill, Plaxovid, has tested positive again for COVID. We wish the First Lady a speedy recovery. Well, the WEF is at it again. They are now advocating for children worldwide to be microchipped. On the microchip, there would be personal information about the child, their family, and all their medical records and more. They say this is the next move in countries having a greater role in co-parenting children with the government. So basically, they want to put a microchip right into the soft part of your child's hand between their index finger and their thumb uh, that would have all of basically like a, a passport full of all of their medical and personal information and information about your family uh, as they want governments to co-parent with you and your child. Now, not only is this terrifying, uh, but the last group uh, I ever want to co-parent with would be the government. And right now, the Australian school system is saying they believe students will be microchipped by brain implant in their brain in the next decade. Uh, now, this will link students' brains to the internet and allow them to have the world's knowledge at the speed of thought. Now, let me know in the comments um, are you wanting to co-parent with the government and allow the government and the school system to microchip you or your child by implanting it in your hand or in your brain? I look forward to reading your comments down below. Maybe we don't think alike, but I don't want the government having this kind of access to me or my child. But let me know your thoughts. Now, new data in the United States sadly shows that 20 million Americans are behind on their electric bill. This is the highest it's ever been. This is a huge number of people. Of course, the solution being presented to the American people is your electric bill wouldn't be so high if you would just switch to solar panels. While this isn't wrong, it's not fully right either. Does the government really believe that people that struggle to pay their $100 to $150 electric bill can magically come up with a $40,000 payment on a solar system or have a $300 a month payment over the next 20 years in order to install this system? I mean, I love how the government's solution is your money problems would be less expensive if you just didn't have money problems. I mean, <laughs> these guys are insane, right? And th th I bet you the same group of 20 million Americans would be told, well, if you would just buy an electric car, 
you can actually lower your bills, but it would actually make your electric bill even higher. So that their answer to your money problem is quit having money problems and just go spend tens of thousands of dollars you don't have. I mean, it, it's, it's ludicrous. All right, now let me tell you about a free offer, completely and totally free from today's video sponsor. My friends at Audible wanna give you a free 30-day trial for being a member of my YouTube community. Casey and I have been using Audible to listen to audiobooks for over seven years now. We love Audible because we can listen while we drive, work out at the gym, or do laundry. Audible also has podcasts, meditations, and Audible originals through their Audible Plus catalog. In fact, I'm currently listening to an audiobook called Why Gold, Why Now? to better understand an area of money I've become super interested in. And Casey just finished a book by Jody Moore titled Better Than Happy. For my YouTube community members, Audible has made a generous offer. They're going to give you a free 30-day trial. Just go to audible.com forward slash Stephen Gardner or text Stephen Gardner to 500-500 to get your free trial. This is a great time to listen to a free audiobook and fall in love with Audible like Casey and I have. Make sure to click right now and go get your free 30-day trial. But let's go ahead and get back to today's news update. The day has finally come. President Joe Biden has announced student loan forgiveness. Anyone making $125,000 or less or $250,000 as a married couple could qualify for up to $10,000 in federal student loan forgiveness. And Biden didn't just stop there. Uh, people especially in need, meaning those that received Pell Grants, could have up to $20,000 of student loan forgiveness. President Biden also announced that he plans to pause the student loan debt repayment until after the election. Uh, it would start basically in January of 2023. So he says, I'm going to buy you a few extra months of no payments, uh, but then this will be the last time and you must restart your student loan debt forgiveness uh, program and then restart those payments, right? So hopefully those that would benefit from this program, you'll have a lower payment as it uh, is restarting in January of 2023. Now, looking back, uh, it's pretty easy to see why this announcement is coming right before the elections. Uh, the Democrats are playing all their hands, right? They, they are trying to keep their, their, uh, their party uh, in control of Congress uh, for the next two years. However, uh, many analysts are saying that this will cost the American people between $350 to $400 billion, and it will be the taxpayers uh, that will pay this, and this could have an effect on inflation. These same economists also say, even if all this uh, forgiveness happens, it could only raise the U.S. GDP by 0.1%. So this could be a big win for those that uh, get the forgiveness and a huge slap in the face to those that get no forgiveness. Now, I know that there are people in my community uh, that are very, very happy about this. I see you in the comments. I also know that there are many of you uh, that feel like this is a slap in the face, right? Like, why isn't the government wiping out my car loan debt or my credit card debt or my medical debt? Or why aren't they helping money for seniors? I don't have an answer for you. So again, I know that some of you will be cheering and some of you will be jeering. Uh, and don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger, right? Like, I'm just telling you guys what's in the news right now. Now, remember when I said the inflation reduction bill, which was passed with a promise of paying down about $200 of the national debt, I had said that within 10 years, they will find a program that costs well over the $200 billion, uh, and that money will not go towards driving down the national debt. Well, I was right and I was wrong. I was right in that they found a program, but I was wrong on the 10 years. It took them less than 30 days to find something more than $200 billion to uh, affect paying down that national debt. Now, this will benefit about 7 million Americans that will have all of their student loan debt wiped out. And for millions more, it will give them breathing room in their budget once these payments restart in January of 2023. Again, I know some of you are cheering and some of you are super angry. I'm just delivering the news. The Central Command Communication Director 
Uh, Joe Buccino has reported that the U.S. targeted infrastructure run by the uh, Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Group in Syria, uh, they have basically taken out a major target. At President Biden's direction, U.S. military forces conducted precision airstrikes in D. Ezerzor, Syria today. These precision strikes are intended to defend and protect U.S. forces from attacks like the one on August 15th against U.S. personnel by Iran-backed groups. So basically, they took out a major target in Syria yesterday. After former President Donald Trump requested a special master review documents before the FBI is allowed to review them, the judge granted Trump's team until Friday to get more details. The judge said Trump's team needs to show why this jurisdiction fell under the court. Trump is trying to get as many documents covered under his executive privilege before the FBI reviews them. This is a story that continues, and I'll continue to keep you updated. Speaking of Trump, every single person he endorsed won their primary last night, including a few Democrats that he endorsed. Now, the, Austri the Austrian government is telling their citizens to expect the next five winters to be extremely expensive as energy prices continue to skyrocket in Europe. Germany's government is asking their citizens to take washcloth baths instead of showers in order to conserve water and energy. So it's it's going to be a very cold winter in Europe uh, as people will be bathing themselves with washcloths instead of warm water. The U.S. Strategic Oil Reserve Program is now the lowest it's been in 35 years as President Biden has released over 100 million barrels of oil. Let's pray that there's not a real crisis where those strategic reserves are needed. But as of right now, it's the lowest it's been in 35 years. Spotify is freaking out. Um, and not because Joe Rogan talked about UFOs or COVID. Spotify spent $25 million to give Meghan Markle a podcast with over 20 staff members. The podcast debuted yesterday and got super low traffic compared to expectations. Now, why would it take 20 people to produce one little podcast? I mean, <laughs> I'm a little bit shocked that it would take 20 people. If Spotify wants to give me $25 million, I've got one or two people in my team, and we could definitely get you guys some traffic. But what do I know? I'm just a guy on the internet. Lastly, former President George W. Bush was humiliated in a video that is now going viral. His team arranged to have him speak with Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, about how Ukraine could beat back the Russian military. Bush spoke with two Ukrainian fighter pilots that mocked him in Russian and then put him on with a Zelensky lookalike. The entire encounter was a giant prank by Russian comedians and basically humiliated the former president as he thought he was interacting with Zelensky and Ukrainian fighter pilots. Anyway, very sad. You can go look at the video. I'm not, I'm not going to put it on here. I just wanted to let you know it's in the news today. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. Before you go, take 20 seconds to get your name entered to be one of the winners of the $1,000 per person giveaway that Casey and I are doing thanks to generous video sponsors. Excuse me. Also, make sure to click the link right now. Go get a free book from Audible. There are so many great self-help books, motivation, money, business, comedy, podcasts, so many great things that you could go listen to today for free. And I'll make sure to leave that link below. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you that you are amazing. Never, never, never link your self-worth to government policy or else you'll be disappointed. Hey, I appreciate you being in my community and I will see you on the next video.